great and beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessing the Hiaguina TV. It's a great channel full of God's word. Prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have the all of the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. And if you are watching from Facebook, please follow. Follow us. You're welcome. God bless you. Amen. Today people think that if you're a Christian, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to have anything uh, as material. You have to just... The poor and have a shoe that is fired, wear clothes that are faded, and no, don't have anything gold or silver because you are a Christian. But in the Bible, I've read the Bible, I've not seen any where, where God said we should be like that as a Christian. As a matter of fact, the gold and the silver, they belong to God. And even in those days, the temple were, de were decorated with gold. You know, so those things belong to God and the people that you have it should be the people of God. Hallelujah. That should be should be one that owns silver and gold. But they, those things belong to God. The devil does not have them. Don't belong to the devil. The devil has no silver. The devil has no gold. He cannot make them. He does not have them. There's no way the Bible where Bible describes the devil having gold. There's no way the Bible Bible describes the devil having wealth, having silver. But it's a place in the Bible where the Bible says that God is the owner of the silver and the gold. And the cattle upon a thousand is. So when we as Christians wish when we say what we say or do what we do, we should look at the scriptures, not the way we feel or think. Not the way we, don't do Christianity the way you feel it should be, or the way you think it should be. Do it according to the Bible, because the Bible is the standard for Christianity. In the Bible, the temple of God were always decorated. Were decorated, looking good, gold, silver, different good quality things the temple of God. God deserves the best and God is the owner of the best. Let's not use our own mindset, our own thinking, what we feel it should be to describe God or Christianity. Let's go with the Bible because God is the only wise God. Don't go by what you think. If you go by what you think, you are serving yourself. If you do Christianity by what you feel, you are serving yourself. If you are serving God, you go by what the word of God says and what the word of God describes. I will look at Genesis 13:2. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. I know the Bible said God is the owner of the silver and the gold. God is the owner of the cattle, so point has not ease. You know that? So Abraham also had such, and he should have. And there was no verse in the Bible that, that showed that God was angry with him. Because he had cattle, silver, and gold. He was rich in them. He didn't only have them. He was rich in them. He didn't only have them. He was rich in silver. Rich in gold. Rich in cattle. That means he had many. Rich. Many of them. And there was no verse in the Bible where God was angry with him for that. Because God himself is the owner of silver and gold and everything. Praise God. So today, I tell you as a Christian, God wants you to prosper. It's the will of God for you to prosper. It's not the will of God for you to be hungry, be borrowing, living in tattered houses, living, doing everything tattered. That's not, that's not God's description. Right? The Bible says, you will lend and not borrow. So the Bible shows the mind of God. One of the blessings to God's children in the Bible was, you will lend and not borrow. That shows the mind of God is that you will prosper. You will not be borrowing. The Bible shows the mind of God. Don't use your own thinking, your own feeling to describe God. Don't add to the Bible. You can't, don't add to the scriptures. Take it the way it is. Because God is the only wise girl. He's wise. So whatever is there, he knows what he's doing. Imagine you begging and hungry. Is that a good thing for you? suffering but if you choose to as a christian to be your choice you can be hungry and suffering if you feel that's good for you to be your choice you still make heaven as far as living living right with god the the rich man lazarus the lazarus was poor eating from the crumbs he made heaven what he was a rich he was um, a christian or a believer in god he made heaven if you choose to be poor it will make heaven but for you to have knowledge that that's not the will of God for you is better. Abraham also made heaven. I have not seen where they say he made air. Abraham was rich in silver and gold. As a Christian, it's your choice. If you want to be very poor, you feel it's good for you. 
nobody will fight you for it. But for you to know that it's good for you to be okay, enjoying this life and also enjoying heaven is better for you. And by the way, when you have when you are good here on earth, you can preach better. You have the money to preach, uh, the money to 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 to, to, to prosper, fund the gospel, make tracks or do whatever you want to do, two programs. It's better for you, it benefits you more if you are rich here. People will listen to you more. Cannot come hungry and begging, and you are preaching the gospel to somebody that is feeding you. You are, you are begging every day. But say, I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be like you. So, so your you, your preaching will not be more effective than a preacher than a preaching of someone that has it. I'm not saying that you should put money first and begin to serve and worship money. Worshiping money is a sin. Putting money first before God is a sin. Money making money your idol. And that's the only thing you now know. You're not proud of you're not so proud and pompous because you are wearing gold. It's a sin. There's a balance. There's a balance. Loving money too much and you not forget about God is a sin. The love of money is what is a sin. It's not, it's not the, 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 the have you have money. Money and silver and gold should be under you. You should control the money and the silver and gold and use them to serve God. Use them rightly. Praise God. Use them rightly. And don't be proud. Praise God. So there's a balance. But you as a Christian, the will of God for you is to prosper and be in it, even as your soul prospers. God bless you richly. Today I pray for you in Jesus' name. That you will not lack. And the blessing of God in the world will come to you. That you will not be a borrower, but you'll be a lender. That you'll be the head and not the tail. In Jesus' name. That you'll be above only and not beneath. Jesus' name. I pray for you today. Mataka Sakatalabashka. That you go forward only, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lete Kashakata. Rikata. I pray for you today. You prosper in all you do. It was a soul is prospering. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not borrow. You will only lend. Hallelujah. You have enough to give to those I need. In the name of Jesus Christ, you not lack your store as is blessed, your bank account is blessed. In Jesus' name, and I pray as you are, as God blesses you, you become rich. That you remember that, that God gives you this power to make wealth for you to establish His covenant on earth. In Jesus' name, God bless you richly. For you go forward forever, you will not lack any good thing. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. You are blessed. God bless you. If you are not born again, what are you waiting for? So you're born again is the best thing that can happen to you. Say after me the prayer of salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe you died for me. You were buried. On the third day, rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I am now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. This prayer was said by you. are not born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church. And stay with us here. Subscribe to the bell. Please share this video to your loved ones. Share this video everywhere. WhatsApp, Facebook, everywhere. Share this video. Let people be blessed. And please click the like button so YouTube can promote this video to bless more people. And go and buy a Bible for yourself and study it so nobody can deceive you. And I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye.